has one of our sandier fields so it's a good place to start david gassed it this morning travis is working this afternoon i'm gonna hop in with him he's just about done not this afternoon i guess this evening moon's pretty oh i love the smell of freshly worked dirt freshly worked dirt freshly mowed grass new truck three best smells there is changing from a case planter on our field cultivator from John Deere with the AccuDepth. Of course, it's a chore. You can't just hook up anymore and go. You gotta change all the settings, change the valve back there, screw it out, because we used it on a case last. Now we got it on a John Deere, so you gotta put it on here, and you gotta do all your calibrations and all that. We're getting ready to go to the field do a bunch of field cultivating today before the rain gets the black dirt worked up so it'll be good shape to plant when it dries back out we've unhooked the tractor today the 960 from the db60 to quit planting beans uh because it's a little bit early yet and we're going to put it on here and run this as fast and hard as we can try to get a bunch done today and tonight okay we've made it to the field now Trying to get our field cultivator to run level with the AccuDepth. Here's all your settings for the AccuDepth, trying to get it level. The field cultivating now, what was uh, ripped up in the fall. This is tight black dirt, and we would no-till it after we get it done, get a rain on here tomorrow night. Then no-till it up there to farm. Yeah, it's looking pretty level back here, maybe a little bit shallow in the clay, but too deep in the muck, so we gotta make a, a little bit of adjustment as we go, which you normally don't have to do. We've got two completely different soil types. So we'll try to get this field all smoothed out. Hopefully get a little shower on it, and she'll be ready to go. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, this right wing is not deep enough. I go up here and I hit this button right here. Go back your depth. I hit this right wing button. And I move it down a little bit. Put that side by itself. In a little bit deeper. Now I'd say the center section of the right side needs it. You got five different sections. We'll touch it down a little. Maybe just the right by itself a little bit more. Yeah, we're looking pretty level across there. You can see how this dirt works up. This dirt is dry as it about gets in the spring to really work, and you can see it's clotty. And that's why we like to work this type of soil and then let it rain on it. And then plant it. You get a good seed bed that way and don't have to plant so deep. This dries out by like black chat on top if you don't do it that way. You can run this on a case tractor. Uh, you have to screw out one valve back there, let the oil flow to it to set it. Then you put a different box in here on it to uh, work the Accu depth. But we have run it on case for several years, so it works on either. I found one advantage to run this on the deer instead of the case. You got a little flip. You can't do that on like the case uh, with the John Deere AccuDepth. 
you gotta just try to move it a little bit, get it right where you want it, and then set your depth down. But with this, you can just actually flip it and go a little bit at a time. I got, uh, this soil is patent soil, according to the soil surveys. But we got a lot of patent soil, and this uh, field is a lot different, a lot tougher. I'd say it's more like zip than it is patent. I love that feature down here. We're down here in the real tight dirt right now. See how dark it is, how gooey. Um, I really love the flip feature because I'm trying to go as shallow as possible in this, just to smooth it out, not to mess the ground up anymore than I have to because it's being ripped in the fall. It's nice and mellow on top, but it's just not smooth. Too wet to work it down last fall like we'd like to then come in with plant a condition like this. Still like that. But uh, we're forced to do that this year. Well, there you can see the storm clouds are coming in. We've been talking about it all day. Radar. See where we're blinking. It's heading this way from the northwest. Altogether, it's been a pretty productive day, though. We've got most of the buck back worked down that was ripped last fall to plant. This is the last little bit. I'll get it easy. So, oh, we got a good start to the year. Well satisfied compared to last year. Just hope it don't rain too much. to see if we got any storm damage we got rained out last night didn't get a whole lot of rain but just enough to make it sticky but there was a lot of wind heard of a lot of damage up by Lawrenceville so all of our friends in Lawrenceville hopefully they didn't get too much damage if you're watching this but we're gonna go up to Robinson see if we got any damage that way cuz uh, that's north of here so so we need to call the insurance adjuster or not. Also going to take some landlords, some checks. Drop Eli off at his car. It's 30 miles away. He drove the tractor back, but he don't have a car right now. Yeah. So get some hail damage, hopefully. So if you see him walking along the road, I kicked him out. So. <laughs> Lines down, I guess. Can't go that way. Well, that lightning last night, that storm was here. We had wind, but I think they had it worse here. Got a tree down. Somebody got a tree down. Yep. Another tree down. Four limbs. So you get thinking, how's it gonna cool off from 80 to 40? Yeah, and that wind hits, and you're like, oh, yeah. that's how. I got quick. Once that wind came in, it was cold. No power in town. 
Oh, look at those bricks. Oh, oh man. yeah. That's wind. That is some wind right there. Huh. Pulling up to our Robinson farm. Looks like we might be all right. I don't think there's any damage. Green bins look good, shed looks good. Car's still here. Eli's yep. car's still here, it didn't get stolen overnight. <laughs> Go check, see if the irrigation's up here look all right. That well, looks like our eagle nest. Weathered the storm, that's good. There's one up in there, I can see it sitting. You probably can't see it on here though, but you might be able to. Still standing, looking good. Very fortunate. Very fortunate. Most of the storm kind of went around us. We're thinking about those of you though that had a lot of damage. Don't know if we've got any irrigation rigs down or in the farm yet or not, but I haven't heard about it, so it means we're probably in good shape. 